everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Design With Me, Ashley D. I'm Ashley, and today we're going to talk about 10 quick tips for your cabin quarantine trip. I know these days everybody's been self-quarantining and you want to get out of the house and the beach might not be the best idea at the moment. So we decided to take a cabin trip to the mountains for our summer vacation this year. And I'm going to share with you 10 quick tips to help your vacation at the cabins go by very smoothly. And a lot of these things that I'm about to go into is some things that you might forget, but don't worry, I have your back, I have it on the list, so that way you will have what you need for your cabin trip. So stay tuned. started on this video, I wanted to let you all know, make sure that you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and the link is down uh, below this video, and it's red, and it says subscribe, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And then I also wanted to tell you all that I have a sign up page. You can sign up to stay up to date on all things Design With Me, Ashley D. And I will be releasing my blog pretty soon so you can stay up to date on my blogs as well. So make sure you click that link down in the description bar below to sign up for emails and also to sign up for my blog. Now, let's get started on the fun stuff, getting to know those 10 quick tips. Let's go. Okay, so up first on our list, we're gonna talk about meal prep. To meal prep, and what I mean by that is you want to list out everything you need for all your meals down to the most smallest detail because you might get up there and decide, hey, I want some coffee and you might like cream and sugar with your coffee, but you forgot the cream and sugar. You brought the coffee, but you forgot the cream and sugar or you forgot your filters for the coffee maker. Or you wanna make sure you plan everything down to the smallest detail for all of your meals, uh, your snacks and your drinks for your cabin trip. Next thing I wanted to talk about is you never know when you might cook something and you want to save it for later just like at the house. Or you never know if you want to grill. So you want to make sure that you bring your aluminum foil and you want to make sure that you bring your plastic baggies for all of your food that you want to save for the next day. So go ahead and make sure you pack these two things along with everything that you want to bring for your cabin trip. Another kitchen essential I wanted to talk about is your dish soap. So you want to make sure that you bring your uh, dish soap with you to your cabin trip because they do not supply you with a whole lot. They just give you a little travel size bottle. And if you're staying five plus days, that's definitely not going to be enough of what you need. And another tip that I wanted to give as well on top of your dish soap is you want to also bring um, either your kitchen towels or uh, a kitchen rag for you to clean and um, you know, keep things or keep messes down. So you wanna make sure that you bring those two things as well. Another thing that I wanted to point out that you want to bring are your seasonings because the cabins, they don't have any seasoning in them. So you wanna bring all your seasonings. If you plan on um, having salads and things like that, you wanna make sure you bring salad dressing. And you also, if you do a lot of cooking in the cabin, you wanna make sure you bring your cooking spray and also all of your um, olive oils or oils that you'll need to cook everything in as well. So just like I was saying, plan everything down from the biggest thing that you need or your actual meal all the way down to the small details like your seasonings and your salad dressing. Hi again. Come on in. I wanted to point out that another thing that you will need is hand soap for your hands. You want to make sure that you get enough for each bathroom in the house or each station that you have to wash your hands. So I usually like to grab one for the kitchen sink and for all of the bedrooms. So you want to make sure that you have enough hand soap to account for all of that because what you don't want is, look, they give you this little teeny bar of soap to use for maybe five to seven days if you're staying for that long and you have this little teeny bar of soap and after a while it starts to collect a lot of the stuff that's on your hands and you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you grab your hand soap or you have Hi, we're back. We're outside and I just wanted you all to see this gorgeous view. Look at the view. Isn't this gorgeous? We're in the environment of, of animals and just nature. So you will encounter 
a lot of bugs. So you want to make sure, make sure that you're well equipped with bug spray. And this particular spray does um, hornets and it also does kills wasp hornets and all other kinds of flying insects. So you want to definitely make sure that you invest in this if you plan on sitting outside for your cabin trip. Okay, so now I think I'm on to tip number seven, right? So for tip number seven, you want to make sure that you have bug spray, not only for the outside of the house that we went over previously, but you want to make sure that you have bug spray for the inside of the house as well. We're out where there are tons of bugs, and some of them are, or a lot of them are attracted to the lights in the cabin, and they will um, surely try to make their way inside every time you open the door. So you want to make sure you keep that bug spray handy as well. A couple of other things that you want to have for your cabin especially if you plan on sitting outside during the nighttime, is you want to have um, either a centronella candle or you want to have incense. And this uh, particular incense was $2 at Dollar General, so not bad at all in order to keep the bugs away. And this actually does a really good job of keeping the bugs away. And as far as the centronella candle, you can get this for 5 bucks at your local grocery store. So these are two items that you definitely want to make sure that you invest. I wanted to talk about if your cabin has a hot tub or it has a pool, you will need plenty of beach towels. Most cabins um, only supply you with the bare necessities, which is your washcloth and your towel to take a bath. So you want to make sure you have your towel for all of your fun stuff like swimming and getting in the hot tub. And if you're like me, it's not such a bad thing if you also bring a towel and a washcloth for your shower in the cabin as well. The more you have, the better. I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So keep that in mind. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to talk about that they don't have a lot of in the cabin is they only supply you with one trash bag. So you want to make sure that you bring extra trash bags for the trash can in the house. They do have bigger dumpsters that they do supply you with that you can dump your trash in, but it doesn't help if you don't have any trash bags to do it with, right? So make sure that you bring extra trash bags as well. And majority of the cabins have the tall kitchen trash bags that you can purchase from the dollar store for a dollar. So I hope that this video helped you with planning your next cabin trip. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my video. And just remember with your cabin trip and when you get to planning your things and laying out all your items to pack up, you would rather what? You would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So just keep that in mind next time you are planning out your cabin trip. See you guys next time. What? Need it and need it and have it. Have it. You would rather. <laughs> Tips for your cabin, <laughs> for your cabin quarantine trip. Does that make sense? <laughs> for your cabin quarantine trip. Need it and need it and have it. Have it. You would rather. <laughs>